Hello, this is Todd Yu, Area Sales Manager from DNV Digital Solutions. In this video, I'm going to explain how to set background image for graphs in Fast Safety. When you read the graphs generated by Fast Safety, sometimes you may want to superimpose the graphs on a background image to understand the results. Let's have a look at this example. There is a flare on this offshore installation. We want to understand the radiation hazard to the workers. We can create a jet fire to model the flare and generate radiation contours. If we can superimpose the radiation contours on this image, it will be very straightforward to know the radiation hazard. You may want to see something like this, which combines the graphs and the image. This can be done easily in fast safety. How to set a background image for a graph? When you are viewing graphs, you can go to configuration tab and click on background image. You can then specify the path, location, and scale of the image. However, we often don't know the location and scale of the image. We have to trial and error, which can be very time consuming. How to set the location and the scale of the background image? Let's have a look at this image. We can set up a coordinate system like this. The X axis is the horizontal line along the wind direction at the sea level. The Y axis is the vertical line along the central line of the flare stack. In this example, I know the distance from the flare tip to the sea level is 75 meters. So the coordinates of the flare tip is 0, 075. If we can set up this coordinate system correctly, we can get the location and the scale of the image. As you know, it is possible to set up a map in FAST. We can take advantage of this feature to set the coordinate system for the background image. We can insert this image as a map even though it isn't. When the image has been inserted as a map, we can scale it and set up the coordinate system. When that has been done, we can see the geometry data like this. We can know the location and the size of the image. This is ex exactly what we need for the background image. So here we can see east is corresponding to x for the background image. North is corresponding to y of the background image. Width is corresponding to the length of the image. Length is corresponding to the height of the image. Let's have a look at this in fast. So I already have a flare defined as a jet fire in fast. I can go to map tab and insert a map. I inserted this map, this image as a map. So I can set scale of the map from the flare tip to the sea level. The distance is 75 meters. Set origin, click on the flare tip, no, or the coordinate is 0, 75. If we have done this, we can open the dialog of this image. We can simply read the geometry of the image. We can then copy the geometry data to the flare. If we go to the flare, click on background image, then we can 
specify the path of the background image. We can copy north to x. We can copy east to x, north to y. We can copy the width to length, length to height. So I have done this in another study. So this is what I have copied. Then you can see here my flare radiation set view is shown is superimposed on this image. I can zoom in, zoom out. The background image will also be zoomed in and zoomed out. Which graphs can we add background image to? In theory, we can add background image to all contour graphs listed in this table. However, since the first five graphs are already available as GIS results, there is no need to use this method. We can use the background image for cloud side view and radiation contours. Just now, we have demonstrated a Jetfire radiation contour side view. This is an example for pool fire radiation contours footprint. This is an example for pool fire radiation contours set view. This is an example for cloud set view. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dnv.com. Mm -hmm.